when you build that inner circle, you got to be very careful. And the biggest <laughs> challenge that I have and mm-hmm. that any man has, Mrs. Blue, is number one, the women. And what I mean by the women, not in terms of a sexual attraction issue, but in terms of a confidentiality issue. I'm just mm-hmm. going to be honest. And I can say this. I've been dealing in organizations since high school. A lot of black women can't keep their damn mouth shut when it comes to organizational business. Mm, Let's talk about that. It's a big problem. I want you to really kind of spell that out because I, I, I think it's important that we hear this from you and that we hear what the problem is when it comes to sisters working in these type of roles right the issue when women talk a lot about organizational business and I've seen this in college I've seen it in the UNIA I've seen it in team pan-african when they when they reveal information they don't necessarily do it from a place of sabotage they do it from a need to look special to other women He entrusted me with this and I need to let y'all know that I'm special because I was entrusted with this. So it's not being done out of a position of sabotage It's being done out of a position of vanity, but Mm. it still leads to the sabotage. And I've had this discussion with men in other organizations and, you know, the consensus is, you know, pretty general that see women do the work in organizations, Miss Blue. Women oh, do yeah. 10 times as much work as men. Hands I know. <laughs> Give me three sisters. I'm going to get more yeah. done than 30 men. Men don't Not work. True. They want right. to talk. They want to lead. They want to be in control. They do not do work. Women yeah. do the work. So women are indispensable to any freedom struggle. The issue, though, is mm-hmm. that when you really need to communicate things, you really need to bounce an idea off of a sister who's proven her worth through her work and commitment, but she might not have verbal discipline. And so whenever you share something with a woman, you always are concerned about her level of verbal discipline because women just love to talk. Like you can say, don't repeat this and they'll repeat it. So when they leave after you just told them, it's just, it's an issue. It's been a big issue. And when you study any of our organizations, it's always been an issue. Really? Because girl talk, because it's about girl talk. You know, you get around your girls, you get relaxed. relaxed, You start letting. But I've seen, I've seen the men who can't close their mouth. Yes, I agree. Oh, I agree. Yeah, they're out front. Men talk as Uh, well, but I mm -hmm. guess for me and a lot of other men, when the women talk is more critical because they're the ones who you're trusting. See. What I what I started to say earlier that I didn't finish is with the women the issue is verbal discipline, talking too much. With the men the issue is being too quick to jealousy and envy. With men it's hard to trust them because men sooner or later a lot of times they begin to envy your position and they mm. want it for themselves. And that envy for your position turns into jealousy and sabotage. You've seen it with Malcolm. You've seen it with King. You've seen it with Lumumba. The inner, it's, it's always somebody in your circle who wants what you have. Yeah. Who wants what you have. And they will do anything to get it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Many of our prominent leaders today took that position from somebody else who had it. And they didn't do well, it in, a, in an honorable way. I, I will say, you know, there's lots of questions going on in the chat room, as you can imagine. And uh, some of the women, some of the sisters are saying, where do you learn verbal discipline? I will say as a sacred sister and had to be in position just from the work I do, especially with readings, keeping things very sacred that are sacred. um, I guess I've never heard of that term, but I have verbal discipline. Um, And I, I, you know, I guess I would say to you is, do you think that when it comes to that verbal discipline and women, that maybe it's just not enough sacredness there in the relationship. And that is why it ain't so much about the relationship. It's Mm -hmm. about the commitment to the people. For example, I could be working with you. 
and I may well, not necessarily like you. So mm-hmm. stay with me. I may yeah. not necessarily like you, but the mm-hmm. work that you're doing, it, you're doing it for the people. It's not about the personality. That's another issue no, we no, have. No. That yeah, is and I don't mean person. I don't mean personality. Feel. I mean the relationship with whatever work you're doing. So whatever business, because that's a relationship too. So whatever organization, that everything that goes on, whether you're a man or a woman I'm working with, the relationship of the work is sacred. That's what I'm talking about. But I do understand you're right. It's not about personality. Right, but I think it's the higher level, though. And I think the higher level is your mm-hmm. commitment to the people. If I'm working with you, mm-hmm. regardless of the relationship we may have or not have professionally, politically, okay, yes. I might think you're not doing the best job that can be done. But yes. the, but the job you are doing is still going to yield some fruit for the people. I, out of commitment to the people, am going to keep my mouth shut and I'm going to follow through on my responsibilities because Mm -hmm. of my commitment to the people. See, another issue we have, and you may not have been alluding to this, but I want to bring it up because it's relevant because you're bringing this up. And that is being loyal to principles over personalities. Oh, yeah. I don't want people loyal to Dr. Umar right. the person. Right. Okay. I want people loyal to the principles that Dr. Yep. Umar is fighting for. So mm-hmm. if Dr. Umar ever betrays the people, the work will continue, but you will simply remove me from that work. But what we have in the black community, Miss Blue, we do not have the role of principle anymore. We have lost our honor as a people. It is not about principles. It is about personalities. In other words, if something is done wrong, it's not automatically wrong until we first see who done it. Mm, Gotcha. If an elder does something wrong, it's likely to be excused because they were an elder. And I can tell you in a conscious community, I've seen some elders do some downright nasty, foul shit. Oh, yes. Not to me, okay. but to other right. people. And they mm-hmm. were never held accountable because of who they were. Mm-hmm. That is not African culture. That is not African morals and high ethics. That is not how we function as people. If you're wrong, you're wrong, and you have to be dealt with. But in the That's conscious right. community and in the black community as a whole, it's all about who did it. If the person who did the wrong was very popular, it was acceptable. Yes. And that's the way it is now. And that's Mm -hmm. why we have a breakdown of trust, Mrs. Blue. And that's why a lot of people don't join conscious organizations because the average conscious organization is morally piss poor. The average conscious organization is not loyal to principle. It's loyal to the personalities that Mm -hmm. And if you disagree with them personalities, you can be thrown out. I've That's seen right. it in nearly every organization. Mm-hmm. Okay, I know people in nearly every organization. In nearly every organization, I've seen some nasty, foul shit where good mm-hmm. people were walked over. Brothers, sisters, youth, and elders because they disagreed with the egotistical leadership. Mm. And nobody yeah. said nothing about it because everybody wanted to be on the in crowd with the egotistical leadership. Mm-hmm. Well, I I definitely can feel you on those principles because that is definitely something I back the remix with. Sometimes people don't understand that, but they're principles and those don't get compromised for anyone, not even me. So I, I definitely can feel you on that. Do you feel that you would be able to find some sisters to work with that can sort of practice verbal oh, discipline yeah, yeah. and connect with principles. Um, so why do in, you think in it's my been comments, so hard? Would, in my comments, I wasn't alluding that there's a shortage of those mm-hmm. type women, nor was I insinuating that I don't have some of them around me because I do who I can trust. I'm yes. just saying that as the work continues to grow, Meaning yes. that it's going to require more hands involved. Mm-hmm. The likelihood of you running into people who can sabotage the work by talking too much, sisters in particular, is going to increase. I didn't say that I'm at a lack 
of responsible, reliable women. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying, okay. though, in my history and in the history of others who have done this work and do this work, it is a significant risk issue. The lack of verbal discipline from women and the tendency towards jealousy and envy in the men. That's something that all leaders have had to contend with. Oh, yes. I would agree with that. I definitely will. I, I take a different perspective as a woman um, from the other end. But, yeah, I can see those components um, being being there, uh, being able to see them there. 